And we're back now with our series, I Survived. My next three guests have overcome unimaginable tragedies. They were present at two of the worst mass shootings in our country's history. One at Columbine High School and two at an Aurora, Colorado movie theater. They have come together in a new film called Surviving Theater Nine. Here is some of their story. Jefferson County 911, what is your emergency? April 20th, 1999. Dozens of students that are fleeing for safety. We watched this heart-wrenching event unfold in the suburb of Littleton, Colorado. I was in my uh, math class and all of a sudden like five or six kids came running in and they all told us to get down because there was gunshots. Columbine High School became an epicenter of tragedy when a shooting rampage left 13 dead and several wounded at the hands of two classmates who had entered carrying guns, knives and explosives. They then turned the guns on themselves. Suspects have been found inside the building and are uh, dead. We should be safe at school and it should be a safe place. More than 13 years later, on July 20th, 2012, Aurora, Colorado would experience its own devastation when moviegoers were blindsided by gunfire. That this occurred, at least initially, in theater number nine. A 24-year-old set off tear gas before shooting and killing 12 and injuring more than 70. The gunman was sentenced to life in prison. <laughs> Tim McGrath lived through that shooting spree. And he brings the lessons he learned to a brand new short film called Surviving Theater 9. Shootings affect a whole lot of people. McGrath's goal is to show viewers the journey of survivors like him. So we think this is our best foot forward to give hope and strength to those survivors who need it. Tim McGrath is the actor, writer, and director behind Surviving Theater 9. He, along with the then 12-year-old Jacob Garrett, escaped the Colorado theater with their lives back in 2012. And Kim Blair Woodruff was a 17-year-old student at Columbine High School in 1999. She's here with us as well. Thank you all so much for being here. So, Tim, this is your project. Gunfire erupts in the theater. Mm -hmm. And when you realized what was happening, how did, you, how did you manage to save yourself? Well, I was in Theater 8, so the bullets kind of came through the wall down in the front. Um, so, you know, it's, it's hazy. You kind of get down behind the seat and then... I think we kind of went down towards like the main exit, you know, the shoots when you walk into a movie theater. Um, that was pretty crowded, so we went back up and ended up going out through kind of a projectionist booth area. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you were still so stunned you, you went and saw The Dark Knight the next day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We, How's that possible? <laughs> Why do you think you did that? I don't, I mean, I'm kind of thinking clearly in those moments. Like, um, yeah, we, we, I don't know, my cousin and I, we, we got up and, and just, it was like, uh, don't let the terrorists win kind of a moment, I think. Mm -hmm. So we went and went down to the 16th Street Mall and they were playing it. Jacob, you were in the same theater with your brother. You were in Theater 9. Yeah. With your brother, your older brother. Um, and what happened when the gunfire started? Um, I stood up and Joshua pulled me down and waited till it stopped and then we went up and uh, went out the door at the top of the theater and uh, went out the lobby. That's your big brother who helped you? Yeah, he pretty much saved my life. I, I would have just kept standing wow. <laughs> if he didn't pull me down. You were at Columbine yes. the day the two shooters came in. You knew one of them. Mm -hmm. did, did you see him the day of? Did you have a direct interaction with him? Um, I was outside where it began, um, so I saw them take um, the duffel bag um, up to the top of the hill, pull out the guns, nod to each other, and begin shooting everybody. Um, I had my best friend um, uh, shot right next to me. Um, before she was shot, um, you know, I made eye contact with the gunman, and he recognized me, and he moved the gun and shot her. Um, my, I have an identical twin as well and she was a library kid. And um, in, in that moment for her, um, they looked under the table and couldn't tell if it was me or if it was her. Because we're, we're identical. Um, and I was always very nice to Dylan um, and moved to the next table. You think that he spared you for that reason? It's the only thing I can hope for. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just seems like chaos. And 
I, I tend to think that we're more kind in our nature than we are evil. And uh, I'm hoping that in just that brief moment, he remembered that piece of his humanity in all the kindness that I gave him. Wow. Is there any survivor's guilt? Not anymore. Got to that. Yeah, um, I've actually been able to find peace. I was able to find peace about the 10 year anniversary and I've been able to live in, in my peace since then. How about you, Jacob? I mean, when, you, when you see these other students rise up out of Parkland, Florida and elsewhere to try, try to stop this from happening, what does that bring up for you? I just, I feel really bad that anyone has to go through anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it just really changes who you are, and it's, it's not fun. It's not a good change. <laughs> the fact that you found the ability to lean on your family, find friends who could support you, speaks to your mental well-being, to your ability to take care of yourself. And I know you're here today to try to send that same message to others suffering, so thank you for that. Thank you all. Good luck with the film. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. All Thank the best you. to you. The movie, again, it's called Surviving Theater 9. It premieres this Sunday at the Tribeca Film Festival. And we'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.